News of the Burisma hack comes as Joe Biden and five rivals are set to square off tonight in the last debate before the Iowa caucuses. And the stakes are high. The last four Democratic caucus winners have gone on to win the party's nomination. Ed O'Keefe is in Des Moines. Responding to the apparent Russian hacking, Joe Biden's campaign said it proves that both Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin understand the true stakes of this election. And a new ad Biden is airing today in Iowa calls out the president's continued focus on him. He's got Joe Biden on his mind. Polling consistently shows voters believe Biden is best positioned to defeat Mr. Trump in the general election. And that has other Democratic candidates and Republicans trying to raise doubts about the former vice president. Bernie Sanders has been engaged in a feud with Elizabeth Warren, but he tweeted today that he doesn't think Biden's record will bring forth the energy Democrats need to defeat the president. At the Capitol, Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy uh, argued that Biden will have an unfair uh, advantage over Sanders and other senators running for president once the impeachment trial gets underway. The only rightful thing of Joe Biden is to make a pledge not to campaign, but Bernie Sanders cannot. Warren said yesterday that Sanders once told her he didn't think a woman could be elected president. Now her campaign is asking supporters to back off Sanders and focus instead on the moderates in the race, including Joe Biden. But perhaps the question for tonight's debate is whether Warren will do the same. Nora? I bet there'll be a dust-up. All right, Ed, thank you.